In today's video, I am not going to do a repair video or a electronics video. I'm just going to talk real quickly about an app that I found the other day. Um, this is called the QLSoft Dual Channel Function Generator. And I just want to show that it can be used in a pinch if your regular function generator or your regular audio generator is broke. You can at least use this to do some signal tracing. Um, I looked at what the developer wrote and he said this is just for educational purposes only and I think that's about um, correct. I stumbled across this app the other day when uh, I was actually watching a subscriber of mine's video, Patrick O'Connell. He, he does vintage uh, repair work on audio equipment or rather he works on vintage audio equipment I think it's from the 70s and 80s the golden era of hi-fi um, I'm a subscriber of his and he showed off this uh, app the other day which was made by the same company but it was a frequency counter it works with the mic I think he was doing some kind of a uh, um, cassette speed test or something like that um, so I went to the app store and I discovered this probably years later than everybody else. So I'm going to keep this video short because there's probably already dozens of video on this app and are going to be more in depth than, um, than I care to go. And there are probably more knowledgeable people out there that uh, really know everything about this app, which uh, I don't. So what I want to do now is feed in a, let's just say we had a problem with the amplifier receiver and um, we wanted to do signal tracing. Of course we need a, we would also need an oscilloscope for that too. And um, what I would do then is feed in a, what I like to do basically, I like to feed in a sine wave. It can either be a thousand hertz or 400 hertz. Um, and then just use the scope to basically follow the signal as it goes along in the amp or receiver. Um, I'll, I'll just show the hookup real quick. So here is the actual um, cable I'm using. I'm going to be feeding the signal into the aux input of a receiver. And this is the other end. This is a 3.5 um, millimeter plug here you can see just goes where normally a actually a headphone would go uh, like that just plug it in like that and um, these cables come ready made and you just have to put in 3.5 millimeter in the surgeon and uh, cinch a cable and something like this will pop up I think I even got this off of eBay uh, that's about the easiest route so let me go ahead and start that function generator again. So I put this in there. And then this end goes into the back of the receiver. And here we can see I've got the um, both oscilloscope probes are hooked up across the 8 ohm dummy load that's where I'm actually getting the gonna watch the signal at and the scope is Noltec 2235 so I got everything hooked up and um, I just tested the signal from the cable to from the function generator app here coming out of the cable here to the oscilloscope and I am getting something out but um, I'm going to skip that part I just want to show how it's coming out of the receiver in order to basically select what you want you get these buttons here like right now I've got a, a selected sine wave and you can actually you can go between channel 1 and channel 2 or rather, I don't know if you can have both at the same time. 
Um, not exactly sure. I don't. It doesn't seem so. Okay. Um, and in order to get any kind of output, also we need to. You need to hit this. Here is a function in the lower hand right. It says out, and that will enable you to get something out. There it goes. It finally went. So, um, now we can go ahead and take a look at the um, oscilloscope, and you adjust the amplitude. You adjust it here with the volume control of your smartphone. Like here. I should be able to get this to go up or up or down. By adjusting that it adjusts the um, signal amplitude. So we will take a quick um, look now at the scope. And here's the signal which is coming out from the uh, receiver from the loudspeaker terminals and you can see I'm actually getting a, a usable signal which I could use for basically signal tracing. Now I don't know about the amount of distortion. I can't tell right now anyway since both of my distortion meters need work. The old one and the even older one. So I don't know about that, but I am getting a usable uh, sine wave here, a 1000 hertz sine wave. In order to punch in the frequencies, what we do is we just enter value, and we can say we can use 400, and then hit hertz, and you see here it says 400 hertz. And we can do the same thing for the other channel. The other channel is at a thousand hertz now. And now we can check out the um, triangle wave. Let me show that here with the camera. So that's got like a passable triangle wave. Although I don't use triangle wave very much. Um, we'll go ahead and try the square wave now last. Okay, and lest I forget. Um, see, I'm in the one watt area. My volume control is... Right now about halfway turned up, but I don't have the amplitude on the function generator app turned all the way up. So take a look at the square wave. So in order to do the square wave thing, we just hit the square wave button. Here's the square wave. It's um, totally messed up. You can say either it's horrible or terrible. Take your pick. So, and I know that originates from inside the um, phone. It's not a. It has nothing to do with the receiver I'm checking out now. Since I did check uh, earlier, I hooked up the scope directly to the output of the phone, and you can see here it's, it doesn't look that good. But it, the, the sine wave, I think you could actually go ahead and use that to do some um, signal tracing. So anyways, I just wanted to show what this thing could uh, actually do. I was just focused on this little area right here. It's got more, of course, more functionality than I'm showing. Only thing I couldn't get it to do was display the channels separately. For whatever reasons, either I'm not using the app right or my cable's not wired correctly. Um, since I cannot get the channels to show separate signals, it's like it's like a mono signal going to um, both scope inputs. Of course, it could be again, as I said, it could be just the cable here I'd have to check it out but anyways um, it's halfway usable so that's all I want to say I'm trying to keep this video short uh, thanks for watching